Hey, what's up guys? Barack Gage here. And today, in this Order in Chaos video, uh, we're going to be doing some live commentary and talking about my pets. Now, a couple disclaimers really quick. Uh, I want to do this video because I'm about to get a new pet that I think is going to be like the m main source of all my pet food and time in the near future. If I go to tournament here and here rise to the challenge, you can see if you get your 10,000 points, you get the Temple Death Knight badge. So this is an agility pet. I'm going to rank this up. I'm going to make a video on it probably on Monday. So stay tuned for that. <clears throat> Sorry if I sound a little under the weather. I, I'm extremely sick this week. That's why I wasn't uploading. So that's the other disclaimer. <laughs> and also it's Saturday. So the Wi-Fi, as you can see, there's a little lag spike right there. The Wi-Fi is a little laggy. So if there's any lag or anything, I'm really sorry about that. But anyways, that's not why you click this video. Let's talk about my pets. So you can see right here, this is my favorite one. I figured we'd start with it. And the mini Nyon badge was actually my first pet ever. I got the mini Nyon when they, like day one, literally when the pet update came out last year. I think it was September. So like a year ago, actually. Uh, I just played the lottery one time and I got this thing and I I thought it was like really normal. I was like, oh, you know, everybody must be getting this. You know, it's it's nothing special, right? And uh, no, actually it's my favorite pet <laughs> and it's like the rarest one I have because you can only obtain it for a certain amount of time. So I will never get rid of this thing. It's awesome. It gives 400 health, you can see there, and it has this ability to give a firework. So while it's not necessarily that helpful in combat, it is kind of cool to just open my bag and be like, oh, cool. Uh, Here's a firework. Let me see if I can find one really quick. Um, my bag is full, so I don't have one right now. I'll edit one in so you guys can see what that looks like. So, alright, moving on, let's go to the next pet, which is the Vibrant Ancient Tree, and uh, I got this actually on the 4th of July this year, um, I have a whole video about it, it, uh, I did, again, did the lottery one time, guys, I'm, I'm not promoting the lottery, I, I genuinely think Gameloft just, like, knows that I make videos, and they purposely give me stupidly good luck, because I don't play the lottery that often, but man, when I do, I get super lucky, so... I got this on my first try on the 4th of July, and I, you know, I was just like, it's the 4th, man, fireworks going off, what the hell, why not, why not open a lottery? And bam, I got the, the tree, so, he's cool, I mean, he's obviously my main mount, I use him in PvP all the time, 100 health, 130 physical, and 130 magical force, that's pretty dope, um, still haven't named him, so, moving on, the Amirian Warhorse, I will, again, I have this weird, like, thing where if I really like something, I, I just decide I'm never gonna get rid of it, even if... You know, it causes me a lot more work in the future. I just, you need a horse in an MMO, guys. I, I feel like, it doesn't matter. I could I could have a flying mount, I would still want a horse. You know, it, it a horse, it just represents the backbone of the MMO to me, you know? I, I don't know how to how to explain it, but every single person in Herodon needs a horse. So, I will never get rid of this. I This is the, actually the first one you get from the quest in the garden. If you guys haven't gotten your horse yet, go check out my mount video. But really quick, go here to Solo and uh, you'll find the quest here in your private garden. <clears throat> so, next pet. Legendary Trubudor. So, this is interesting, guys. I use this pet in combat, actually. And I got her, again, during one of these tournaments here. Oh, by the way, this is this pet here, this Autumn Sapling, I'm pretty sure you can evolve to the tree mount. But anyways, the pet here, Gabriella, you get from a tournament here kind of like this one where you can now get the ancient wanderer you can sometimes get her um, and I think they do limited times where they put her in the lottery as well but she gives intellect so I don't actually feed her but I use her in combat because she uh, you know she kicks ass man <laughs> she does a lot of damage and is a decent uh, boost to my up to my uh, DPS but when I get my blood knight uh, pet here I'm definitely gonna definitely going to not here I can't think today guys I'm sorry <laughs> when I put the when I get my death knight badge I'm definitely gonna be using this one all the time and feeding it and you'll see it all the time when I'm in dungeons and stuff so for now I use her but on Monday 
uh, she won't be out so much anymore. But I'll probably still keep her. And then guys, obviously the mini bud. He's almost a mount. Feeding him now. He's level 4. He'll be a mount soon. Again, expect a video on this. Um, this is going to be hilarious. I've been wanting this mount for so long. I think it's going to be super funny to be riding around on a big ogre. And I'm definitely going to rename him Shrek. Don't worry. This name is just temporary. And you get him from the recruiter friend service. He doesn't actually give that much uh, benefits. You can see he gives armor. But he's not actually too, uh, too helpful. But he is easy to get. All you have to do is the recruiter friend service. You go to... Uh, well, I have a whole video on that. Go, go check out my um, five ways to get a mount video. And you can see it, the whole way to get that. So, anyways, <clears throat> last but not least, least, or actually probably least, is the bag it came in. This thing is useless, and I don't know why I love it so much, but I really do, guys. It doesn't do anything, just gives a little health. And all it is, guys, is a sack of flour. I'm not even it, it It's just a sack of flour that follows you around. It's so simple. It's so simple. It doesn't need to be anything else, though, you know? Um, but actually, now that I think about it, let's head over to the private garden for the end of this video. Uh, I think you get this guy from the world event, it was last month, the Nocturnal Festival. I have a video talking about that, go check that out if you haven't. And I got pretty lucky on him, I only did my, filled up my garden full of seeds maybe twice. You had to do these quests to get these seeds here, and this was the second time, so I only did it once, I just remembered, so let's go ahead and open these. See if we get anything cool. Flower, flower, oh. Yeah, so these guys have a chance to drop the pets, that's how I got this guy. It'll say, like, your companion bank is full if I get one, so I'm not going to delete a pet, because odds are I won't get one, but I'm just showing you how I got him. You can see this little demon pops out, and oh my god, that thing's hilarious. It's just a head on a wheel. My bag is full. Uh-oh. Let's just delete some crap. I'm not a PvP pro, so I don't need one of those. Potions for level 1, I need that for my heritage weapon. More potions I don't need. All right. Three should be enough. For that rice. I really need that rice. And more rice. All right, so we might have not have gotten a companion, but we got plenty of rice, so we're set there. Um, <laughs> so yeah, guys, those are those are my companions. My favorite one is definitely uh, my little mini Nyon, because, man, I got this thing like day one. It's just OG. It's been with me for... Since, literally since they released the pet update. I mean, that morning before I went to my class, I did a lottery and I got it. And <clears throat> it's been with me ever since, so I'll never get rid of it, even though this thing is probably the most useful. But anyways, guys, hopefully you guys understand my pets a little bit more. Stay tuned for my video talking about my new Death Knight pet, which will be here probably on Monday or Tuesday. And if you liked, please give me a like and a sub. I don't have to tell you guys that. But <laughs> anyways, guys. As usual, hope you enjoyed. My name's Brock Gage, and I'll see you guys in the next one.